Hi family, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Car Pathway of Cooking. My name is Alicia, and I want to welcome everyone if I have some new people watching for the first time. Thank you for joining us, and um, hope you enjoy it. And before I get started, I want you to subscribe to this channel. It's free. All you need is an email address. Um, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Hit the like button and the comment button. And I want to welcome you to the family. And for family members that have been with me for each video, what's up, y'all? Thank you for coming back. But today, I'm gonna cook something um, that I know Southerners like. And you all know I'm in Central Georgia and we love to eat salmon. I'm gonna make salmon patties or some people call it salmon croquette. But I'm gonna make uh, a simplified version and it's gonna be delicious and you're gonna love it. And normally I cook uh, salmon croquette with homemade biscuits, bits, have some good old-fashioned Kalo syrup, and hey, you got a good breakfast to start your day. You can even eat salmon croquette anytime the week, but in my household, we pretty much eat it for breakfast. And this is what I have um, to go into the salmon patties. We have Alaskan pink salmon, one egg, I have some snap rising, cornmeal, and this is about one and a half tablespoon. I have self rising flour, this is about one and a half tablespoon. And I have some onion. And I'm gonna add a little black pepper. Um, you can add as much onion as you like, but this is just maybe about a good tablespoon of the onion. So what we're gonna do first, I already opened the can. First, let me turn, turn the stove on. Um, at least get it started. Put it on. Yeah. Probably like on a number four setting. What we want to do, I'm going to save my liquid to put um, in the croquette. Some people throw it out, but I like to save mine. This is how I do mine. Can you see this cameraman? Because sometimes they have bones in it. Some people eat the bones, but I really don't like them, especially the big ones. See like this, I don't know if you can see it. We're gonna get rid of those. Some people, um, they're okay with it, but I really don't want it in mine. So it'll take a minute just to pick them out. See those little, pieces like that. You don't want that. There are some thin pieces in here. And it's okay to keep that. And sometimes I even take the skin off of the salmon. Let's see. See like this little bone right here? It is so tiny and thin. You'll be here all day trying to pick those out. So. I just want these ones like this. You got to be very observant to get these little pieces. And this is a really simple, easy recipe, and it doesn't take long to cook either. And I try to buy salmon when it's on sale because pink salmon can be expensive. And this is even better too if you can buy it fresh. I'm just looking for more bones, y'all. Now, it 
it's okay to use your hands. I washed my hands before I started. My hands are clean. But if there's anything you see in here you don't want to eat, take it out. going to mash this up a little bit. I use a fork because it's easier for me. So how's everybody doing today? I hope your day is going great. Okay, we're going to move this out of the way. I'm not adding salt, y'all. Because um, salmon has um, a salt taste to it to me. But if you like salt, put it in here, hey. Some people put bell peppers in theirs, or red peppers. You can fix it. Fix it up how you want to. You can make it just like you're making crab cakes. But I'm not going to be fancy with this today. Okay, we're going to... I have one beaten egg, and what I like to do, I like to beat my egg in a bowl just in case it's a bad egg, and I don't want to put it over in here. So, I always beat mine up in a bowl first. And this... This is one small egg. And I'm using the egg as a binder. Same with the um, cornmeal and the flour. And I'm gonna add my onion. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay. And now, we're gonna mix it, combine everything together. We're gonna mix it together. Oh, I almost forgot, right in front of me. Just a little black pepper to taste, just a little bit. Get this out of the way. And we're gonna combine everything together. And I'm checking on my oil. I just used um, peanut oil because that's what I had available. Some peanut oil. And I'm checking the texture of this um, salmon. I don't want it runny. Because I need it to bind together. Me, I think I need to add just a little flour to it. Just a little bit, not much, y'all. Because it's a little too loose. I think it had more liquid in the can this time than normal. So let me just get um, just a little flour and I'll be right back. Hold on, hold on a minute, y'all. Your hands, you can do that, but I'm not gonna do it. I, I like to use a um, reasonable size spoon. This is, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon and a half. 
and I'm gonna drop mine in the oil. I just wanna make sure it's well combined. And this is gonna be a short video too. I know you all are busy, taking care of your family, working, enjoying life. I don't wanna take a lot of your time, but I do appreciate you all um, Stopping by, checking in. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Ooh, that's, let's see. I'm just going to take a little piece and see if it's ready for all this. Way. All right. I'm not sure if the temperature is at 300, but hey, you can do a test like I just did. So what I'm going to do, here's a bone, y'all. I missed that one. I'm only going to use a spoonful and drop it over in the oil. I may have just a little too much oil in here, but hey, I'm going to drain it. The salmon patties, I'm going to drain them on a paper towel. It's not going to be the perfect shape. These kind of like rustic. <laughs> it's not the perfect shape, y'all. But it's going to be delicious. If, if you pat them in your hand, you get the perfect shape. But hey, I am perfectly imperfect, so we're going to go with this. There you go. Let me put this in the sink. Wash my hands. Now be good. Right. What I have just a, um, a dish, and I'm gonna take these out when it's time. Yeah, I think I added just a little too much oil, but it's okay. It is okay. We're going to let this cook. I'm going to flip them over and we will come right back. So, give me a minute. Yes, yes, yes. Smelling good, y'all. We are back. And I want you to see... Um, what they look like. I'm going to take them out in a couple of seconds. Camperland, can you get a shot of this? I want to, ooh, be careful. Sometimes it pops, y'all. I want to um, show you how to flip them. Sometimes it's kind of hard um, flipping them over. So I use a spatula where this is a fish turn and a fork. And I just take it and flip it over like that. I'm going to turn it off. And they are done. It might be this. Ooh, it smells good, y'all. See what it looks like? If you want them a little darker, it's okay. You know how you like to cook your own um, food. They are crispy. Told you all, it's a, it's a quick video. It's a quick video. But I, I want to taste it, but it is so hot. I 
need to let it calm down for a minute. Alright. One try. Okay. Right with that onion. Onion makes everything taste better to me. That's just my opinion. But look at it. Look at that, y'all. Mm. This is my mother's recipe. Mm. That looks good. I put it um on a napkin, y'all, so it can, can finish draining. See how tender it is? See what it looks like on the inside? That's how I like mine to look on the inside. I don't want a dry um, lemon patty. I don't want it dry. Man, I really need some biscuits right now. I got to cook biscuits and grits, y'all. But I wanted to um, make this video for you guys. But you know what? I'm going to taste it and see what it's like. Mm. And it's crunchy, too. I really love it when it's crunchy around the edges. See that right there? That's the best part to me because I love that crispiness. Don't need salt. Woo! Mm. Y'all got to try it. Not to try it. You can buy them fresh or in the can. Sometimes you can find them inexpensive in the can because on the average. It's kind of pricey. This is good, y'all. But I do want to thank you again for taking the time out to watch this video. And you newcomers, welcome to the channel. And continue to come and watch the videos. And I want all of you to let everybody know about the Cart Path Way of Cooking. We're going to do all types of meals here. You know, and most mornings I get up and I decide, hmm, I got a taste for this or I got a taste for that. So let me make a video. Because actually everything we cook in the videos, this is what we eat. This is our meal for the day. But I want to thank you again. I want you all to be positive, be encouraging to someone, and love yourself. And I'll see you on the next video. Love you all.